Do you think the president will get the two billion plus that he's asking for to meet this emergency situation with more help at the border, uh, more social workers to deal with the children? Well, uh, again, we got border patrol securing the border right now, as you can see behind us. But uh, the the uh, president has asked for some money. He certainly can move some monies around, uh, uh, and we can handle that at the end if we want to. Again, let's keep in mind, uh, with all due respect to the administration, they're one step behind. They should have seen this coming a long time ago. They should have seen this a long time ago because we yep. saw those numbers increasing. Uh, we're hoping that we can get that money so we can provide more detention spaces, more flights. Uh, down there. And again, if we put this young children and this mothers and the right uh, uh, caregivers in those countries, I think this would solve. There is an incentive. There is an incentive that if you, if you bring a child over here or your child by himself, you're going to be let go. And that's exactly what's happening. Our immigration courts are so backlogged. There's not enough detention spaces. And therefore, this is the incentive that we have to take uh, away. And that's the 2008 human trafficking law that needs to be changed at this time. Congressman, I want to give the mayor the last word you because know, I hear I, him agreeing yeah. with you. But first, before I leave the congressman, uh, President Obama is coming to Texas this week. As I understand it, at least thus far, he has no plans to visit the border. How does that strike you? Well, again, it'd be nice for him to come down to, to the border. But again, with all due respect, I think he's still one step behind. Uh, they knew this was happening a, a year ago, uh, last year, and, and again, they're just over, uh, they're not reacting fast enough at this time, in my personal opinion. And Mayor Long